into in that girl. See, I was never that girl. Because that girl was known as the experienced girl. Because that girl was also known around town. Now you see me? I was known as the good girl. The always sweet and innocent girl. I remember teachers were like, aw, she's so sweet. She's such a good girl. A really smart girl. Streets, gangs, nope. Not this girl. Parties, no. Not darty. But that's when they were wrong. I was that girl in the shell. Covered in disguise I was. Not many knew about this girl because she, well, I was just that good in hiding my camouflage. I was that good in my disguise. Are you surprised? Want to see what I hide in my keep? Wonder what's inside the mind of this female actress? I'll show you, but then you might not believe it. I'll tell you, but then you won't understand it. See, this bad girl is one in a million. How often do you see a girl like me? Cute and sweet and with a well-kept secret. But no, when you come to me, you come correct. Because my confidence is abstract. Artists can't see it, but here I'll show you the way if you're willing to go deep. Because remember, what I have in my keep is a brief introduction of the real me. And yeah, I'm as sweet as the eye can see, but just you wait. There's more to this book than the Lord of the Rings. A diamond I am, and no, I don't come cheap. So what you waiting on? The ball's in your court. Are you ready for this treat? Though it won't be easy, because it's a once in a lifetime thing. So what will it be? Drinks on me, so make your move. We can be quick to assume. Closed doors open hearts, windows into our inner being. They say eyes are windows to souls, but souls are only exposed when doors are closed. When the world is silent, when objective thinking overwhelms starts to create an atmosphere of non-biased sanctity. We are so quick to judge without earning the privilege of experiencing someone else's sanctuary. That is where they undress, not in the public restroom. Church is a hospital for the broken, not a museum for the perfect. It is where I, you, we are exposed. In public, we masquerade behind our clothes, playing the roles that life has given us. It is not until doors are closed that we are allowed to experience our being in order to enter the state of self. But we assume that we know, based off of impressions made in haste, biased by the clothes. We are blinded to self-inflicted handicaps called impressions that aren't necessarily first, and since we don't always know ourselves, we tend to place our own insecurities on someone else. So when we see something that we think is a flaw, we attack it, using pre-selective preferences instead of actively engaging the environment to earn the trust to walk past the walls that guard the sanctuary. What do we know? Judgment based off of interactions observed in a foreign environment that is not even whole. People are complex, as there are many layers to unfold. We can be quick to assume, to judge, to make claims. You see defensive, well, I'm just protecting my name, my thoughts, my actions. We have to stand up for ourselves, not look for the crowd's satisfaction. Those who change history are never considered well behaved in the act. A man can't ride your back unless it's bent. Dr. Martin Luther King. Others don't understand because they don't choose to see. There is meaning, there is purpose, the soul is open, but only behind closed doors. Thank you.